I'm Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams and welcome to Weather 101. Well, for today, we want to talk about what does it take in order to, you know, take the temperature in a correct manner. And a lot of people think that when they see the temperature readings on the, uh, for example, the, the, the shopping center or the bank, that that's a great temperature reading. And sometimes you wonder, well, why does the actual temperature reading and the temperature reading that you see on the street when you're driving, why they're not the same? Well, chances are they're not actually taking the temperature correctly. There's an actual way to do this, meteorologically speaking. And that's what we want to go over for today. So let's take a look. So here's a look at a typical thermometer right now. And as we begin to kind of go through it, what you'll notice is that first and foremost, uh, we always have our thermometer in an official recording box that's painted white. That's very important because when you paint white, it reflects all the rays, but if it's painted black, it'll absorb more of the, uh, of the rays and that'll actually skew the temperature to be warmer than what it is. Or even worse, uh, if, it's, if the temperature's taken where it's just sunshine hitting the thermometer, the aspect of the light raising the temperature will also give you a skewed temperature reading. So that's why we put the thermometer in a box, painted white, in the shade. That's the proper way in order to take the a temperature. So average house, at the same time, you can have 97 next to the house, but 89 for the official recording. And so with that being the case, remember, uh, Average house can be direct in the sun, but remember the official recording is always shaded. Not only that, but dark colors can absorb more heat. White paint reduces heat absorption. And uh, keep in mind that nearby houses or concrete can add radiant heat to it. But the Stevenson box is placed four feet above the ground in an open field so it's not influenced by other factors that would change the actual temperature and what it would look like. And so this gives you an idea as to why the temperature reading that we have officially can be different than, let's say, what you have measured at your home. It's all about exactly how do you do it, and the technique is what we use as a standard for meteorology. I'm Coast TV Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams, and this is Weather 101.